Hi and welcome to episode 39. We are leaving Kenya behind and crossing into our next country, Uganda. This is the beginning of a new set of challenges. And we are lost in the middle of Uganda. <laughs> We are traveling a lot of kilometers to get closer to Mount Elgon, our last destination in Kenya. Kenya. We have experienced so much in this country. From very bad moments in Mombasa, trying to get our car back after the scam, to incredible adventures in some remote areas, seeing the first wild animals in Africa. It has been a roller coaster, and it's time to move on and explore new landscapes and cultures. Every other place below at the valley is busy and very noisy. But here one can breathe and enjoy nature at its best. We will leave soon. We need to go down the path from yesterday. It's rough. Yesterday we could not record it because the SD car of the GoPro was completely full and the path was too tricky to be recording with the camera at night. So let's see how it looks today. It's going around with a solar panel and a radio going down the hill. Good vibes.
just go a bit for, uh, here for clearance, yeah. Just park it somewhere. Fine. How are you? Good, how are you? Welcome. Welcome. This is the border to Uganda. As usual, at African borders, many fixers appear and offer their help. You put everything here, Papa. Yeah, yeah. Ah, put everything here, correct. Thank you for the journey. Mm. Good, good. I'm Mr. Benjamin Mukwana. Welcome. We never needed them, so we are clear and straightforward telling them that we don't need any help. The visa and customs process was really easy. Only one policeman from customs wanted to have some money for the New Year's lunch he could not have with his family. I told him we also didn't have one and we just left. We will never give one single dime to any of these guys. Welcome to Uganda! It was a pretty easy border crossing. Probably the easiest out of Europe. So we are still struggling to get out of here. We cross the border and still we took a turn and we are lost in the middle of Uganda. <laughs> but yeah, we will find a way somehow. We have been asking, they tell us this is the right way, this is the right way. We will keep on asking. Their road that normally goes directly to Tororo. They told us several times it's closed. So we had to turn around and we are taking other roads that go yeah around this area but they are not direct so we still don't know how are we going to get there that's why we need to ask constantly for directions we are really not crossing to Tororo that we were when we crossed the border so sad Irati is just trying to get some SIM cards and now we will head to a camping to yeah, plan some things for the next days. We are at the moment in CP Falls in a campsite. We came here yesterday directly after crossing the border to Uganda. Um, it's really relaxed, so that's exactly what we needed. A place where we could edit and also clean some clothes and overall just chill and not care about where we are camping or if we're disturbing anybody and also that they're not disturbing us. So it's really nice to be here. Yesterday was really tiring, so the border crossing was really good, but then like getting a SIM card was a nightmare. Like I think I was one and a half hours in one of the shops and they could not uh, work with my passport and also my visa. And I had to move to the next shop and they did it faster, but still with trouble. But now I have it some internet and now we're trying to relax a bit here. Kai is editing at the moment really calm there's nobody around it's dry season here in Uganda so no rain but a lot of wind at night but because we're in the shadow we're not getting any solar 
So we connected it and placed them here to catch the sun. Because the power at the camping place is sometimes down. So we're sure we get some energy like that. I was busy the whole morning cleaning clothes, cleaning my shoes as well, which are drying up down there, and clean up with the car. Yeah, maybe let me show you around. But there are several like cabins overlooking the falls. We don't have a view of the CP Falls from our camp spot but it's really easy to, to see them. We just need to go up some meters to the balcony of this cabin. We had to deal with a lot of to-dos. Many people might think that we are on a holiday, but overlanding is something else. It's living your life on the move and working hard to keep things going. From the car maintenance to basic needs like water, food, diesel and a safe place to sleep. But also many administrative stuff, planning and also, in our case, YouTube videos. Yes, we don't have an office job anymore and can experience amazing locations like this, but that doesn't mean we are not working hard. After finishing our very long to-do list, it was time to get out there and explore. In the next episode, we will drive to the least populated and driest place in Uganda. And sadly, we will end up in a pretty sketchy situation. Until then, enjoy the ride!